Um, who are, I'm not a tank. Please do the big DPS people. Well, that went about as well as they always do. Alright, that's a promising intro. Um, let me go and respawn and do my daily goth. Alright, we're gonna drag Lily around the entire valley. For all them quests, for all them voice lines. Let's go my stream link. We've thrown one here. Yeah, we've thrown one here in a while. That's fine. All right, so it's time running time. Yeah, but I just want to drag Lily everywhere. There is no cave behind the waterfall. However, um, I have... There it is, we need to add you to the mount pile because uh, this mount does something that's very useful. It's an increased swim speed mount.
A bit leaky, he says. Um, the lightning effects here are really good, though. We're going on a journey, Lily, and you're coming with us. Uh, oh, there she is. time. Except you can just take it at a three. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go everywhere. I don't think we've been through the... here yet. the giant meat that's the uh that's the large light who's firing things at us well, i don't think we need to go up to hosen town But we will see. Yeah, that's the giant meat, the Mushan. Been in a war, Lily. Just saying. Come speak with me. Yeah, just yeah, the regular yeah. ones.
Yeah, that's the giant meat. Actually, can we just walk up there through that path? We might be able to. I'll have to check. a day with you and we've already seen this entire valley I guess what I'm saying is thanks and that's what you get if you uh take Lily around oh I thought you were Taran Zoo nope yeah rarely seen gate in one piece we uh, know what's gonna happen there later Going in or what? These are all very rare ones because most people probably aren't going to keep Lily around this long. But if you uh, just keep her around and keep wandering, you just get more and more and more. A little bit. Uh, we're gonna go south down to Nessing Wherry. I think that's like the one I've never done on my actual main. Of course, the good old mounted. So after nursing worry, then we'll fly and we'll try for the. Try for Hose in town and see if she's got anything for that. Oh, where's the joint where you can feel some- there it is. Them. Nothing, Lily?
to say about the singing marsh? Oh, you can have Tall Strider here. Interesting. Nothing out here, so we'll head up to... Good old Sky Range. Like you think if you can sneak up to Sky Range, surely they'd give you something. Apparently not. I don't think I've brought it to the... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's there. In the beta of, um... Mr. Pandaria. These... Um, yeah, these, these cranes were just monsters. There's a village up here, and a big fish statue, too. Hmm, do you think the Jinyu built this place? Hell they go. There he is. Truth. Look at him go. He's zooming.
Kevin. See you again soon. Travel safe. Wait a minute. Now we need to go pick a flower for these guys. We're just gonna travel around with Lily because it's funny. Oh, we got two, three, um. I just realized I could just fucking kill all of these. Just stood here and then just. God damn. Gonna finish every side quest here before we go back to the main quest for comedy. Survival Hunter Guide for Talents back up. Alright, we got Titan Slayer. Yeah, I got bad news about the Golden Dream. Seems someone accidentally, uh, sharified the area. We might want to talk about a certain Garrosh Hellscream. Normally this is all pretty, um, but... They didn't... They didn't fix it for this, despite the fact there's a basically fixed one. Yeah, it should be beautiful and pristine. I got bad news about it, Yan.
Make sure we don't accidentally blow up all these bugs. <laughs> Kind of an uncontrollable AOE machine at the moment. There we go. What's on soul shape? Someone's been busy up here. Oh, um, oh, Manglemore. Can you tame Manglemore? I must get closer. Tempted to grab one of these red ones. Um, my theme for my reality as pets is red. Which really does give me some limits here. Oh, all right. Too far away. A voice line from Mudmug. Is he around? I must get I require a target. Well done. Imagine me not dinging constantly in the thing designed to have very quick leveling. Oh, beautiful. I was actually hoping we'd have a good longbow. Um, I'll sort of switch this back to survival, but we have a better longbow now, so we can... What you doing? Ah, look! Here he comes now! How is the brewery, Uncle? Bah! I do not want to talk about Oh, uh, Leech. I would gladly prefer Leech over Mastery. Vampiric Aura, we're just going to be full of health regen. Hailstorm, Explosive Barrage, and what else do we want? We 
just numbing cold so just to keep the Chaos going. May your journey be long. I found the rule and made my way inside. I decided to look around for someone else from the Storm South camp. Oh, Uncle Gal. Jen knows family is what's most important. I love Chen. I'm Chen Stormstout, the best brewer alive. I love he's just, you know what? I may be kicked out by my own fucking family, but I'm just gonna fucking show him up. Oh, that is a free treasure chest, though, but I'd have to fish.
What do you want? Seek the truth. Guard yourself. Looking for something special? Goodbye. Go and see. Speak. Do not share what I have said. More into the trash pile. a good one actually next time we get one i might slip that on it actually it's probably what i used to have on one of these well next upgrade we'll grab with that again all right we gotta go up north uh, actually no it's probably better we do the two down here first i knew i'd have to come back to that incidentally Oh, my friend has just linked me the shard corruption in chat, which I very much need. Silkworm friends. So this is a way to just default certain things to certain bags. Alright, we're gonna do this the uh, fancy way, which is I aggro all these, we come here, and I push this button. my pet out of range. What the fuck are you doing up there? No, go for this one. need him. Um,
You know what, yeah. It's close enough. I'll just say moved if people say that's wrong. could, of course, you know, just aggro this and fucking kill it, but it's polite. Okay, this person's just fucking aggroed him. One more. talent to start getting to the bottom row. Oh, misdirection. Yeah, I kind of need that. Oh, call point five. Um, while I'm here, I'm pretty sure this is a unique moth. Get tamed, idiot. Okay, we'll have to sort out our things soon. Um, can I have my... I'll have to abandon that so I can... Hello. May the mist... Is. No, I can't I get nothing for attacking those. Oh, that's a better rod. Um, 
Um, what is, ooh, hold on, that's the fancy one. I might actually just be right back one moment. Let's just quickly head into town so I can do that. I'll be back one quick moment. to the pile. Oh, is that damage inflicted increased by 50%? Oh. That's very dangerous for all parties involved. You want to come? You want to go? Excuse me, can you get over here? Where's my freaking tiger?
Why is all of your green so bland? <laughs> the grain we gather needs to be in large quantities for the brewery. But I may know of a grain that would suit your needs. Welcome. May the mists protect you. Shade serpent. Next one is on me. There is no hurry. It's just a huddle of these somewhere. explode like about 10 times on them whatever these grain hunter hawks by the way they're just the standard brown hawk they just uh use very unused thing in wow tinting which is used a lot in warcraft 3 and one of the few mobs that actually just standardly appear tinted No idea why. Hello. May the mists protect you. Next one. 
focus on you. Wait on here for a moment. No wind weaver, I prefer that. The sleigh's nice, but I want to do big zappies. I'm gonna get somewhere a bit safer where I'm not gonna be clobbered by a plane's walk. And I'll be back one more moment. I might get kazoo music this time, let's see. Mop has one of the best uh, in themes, just saying. Anyway, we're gonna do a drop off over at this point. Level 50, by the way. We only have 20 levels left, and we're not even. We're only at zone 2. Mudbug is one of the funnier characters in this. Uh, I believe I did need to kill you. Yeah, I need to kill you for the quest.
Oh my mom, you are a concerning individual who would probably give everyone food poisoning. Now this is what I'm talking about. Ain't no spiders or crabs in this water. Crap. Holy smokes. This fella swallowed a lot of water. Now it's just some more. I'll bet the chin never made no pot belly water beer. This should be the last of it. I reckon we got enough. Yellow. All right then. So long then. I trust you won't get us into any kind of river, animal mounds, nothing like that. Well, uh, we got bad news, my bug. Which way did you go? You got any other errands we need to run? Don't you worry about old mud bug. Just poke me when we get there. Yeah, sorry, Modbug. We gotta do a bit of swimming. I must get closer. Next time, turning in that. Because that is a three set of quests up there. Yep. I think you can get more dialogue if you take him around to other joints, but we'll just take him with us. I need to try that on another one. Do mud mugs first and take him down to Lily. Let's just see what happens. We'll be back for you guys later. We gotta go and finish the last quest up here. Plain talks, which very much will attack me. What is your hurry? Keep the peace. Hello. Goodbye. Stay focused. Carrots, strong carrots.
Immediately, uh, coordinated assault though. That will gladly be worth it. Very familiar with this plot. That's where the pigs are, isn't it? Actually, hang on. Let's just go here and zappy the zap zap. She's in the, uh, Oh, soul tether. Greetings. Farewell. I hope to see you again soon. I do not have a target. Oh, Chigi the Red Crane. Hello. That one I know. Oh, that's a really good one. Just a passive 35% speed boost. We could try Chigi the Red Tr Crane. Thundering old.
Yeah, just 30% passive speed boost at all times if we're not in combat is such a good... I think we've got a repeat from one of those boxes. I am unable to carry yeah, soul tether, we can't delete the mail. I hate when we get the repeats, it's annoying. Start getting the big weeds soon, if I remember. The big patches of the small weeds that we can just run over. I see what fuck it would just happen. Alright. That's a nice bad spot to land. Let's just quickly turn this in. Tell me of your trouble. May the mist protect you. Oh, 
I'll gladly take wildfire does more shit. I love the just the silly, the, that's just a silly little vermin. Uh, so, oh, we gotta do safari, okay, so we're actually gonna have to go do safari this time. That's fine. I haven't done it, doesn't mean I don't know what it is. Oh! I don't have any upgraded belts. Why? What a coinky dink. I just needed one. It's only got two tinker slots. But, um, with all much crits we got. Grab just crit our uh, brittle on it. It's finally rescuing us from melee if we want to go back to Beast Mastery. Upgrades for the gems thus far. Socket it. Absolutely zoom if you give him a few moments. <laughs> ah, very well. I'll put my belly into it. There they go. Go down and grab Nessie wearing, because that we're gonna have to go all over the zone for. But we'll finish off this. Um, we've actually done the dungeons, so. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I'm looking for groups, so we just need to do the uh, campaign. Fuck's sake, that's painful. Oh, he's coming again. I ain't getting involved with that. for us to break some out. Okay, I think we're really hitting the stride on what survival does. Just explosions.
definitely want one of these. I <laughs> love just, it's gonna be a brawl in there, let's go. What? Oh, I love the ailmentals, they're a dumb little thing. This is just a stupid fight. It's just, it's just about family. Oh my word, again? Hidden Master and Nessing Wearing Safari. Looking to buy? Travel safe. <laughs> that is just very simple. Just anyone who calls me handsome gets a free beer. <laughs> there we 
go. Sure, buddy. Speak up. Until next time. Too far away. Do you need goodbye? Well, only a few moments at least. Actually, I'm gonna fucking zap these up. Just in case, we might want to just head over and just get Ken Ken to go on.
those do not have. Beware the western wind. Watch the shadow. The wall must stand. An upgrade. Oh, lovies. Now there is a rare up here, so I'm hoping he just shows up. Last stream we missed out on him because someone killed him. The training montage time. This is very funny when I'm on my gnome, by the way. Imagine a tiny gnome just getting absolutely launched. Mm -hmm. 
We're definitely getting higher level even we're not just annihilating things anymore. I'm gonna keep this character going as long as possible just to get as many achievements. Flies really want to fuck around. Okay, okay, we can fuck around. How'd that go for you? Cause explosions every time we kill things, it's ridiculous. Stamp hitting raw, that's pretty good actually. Just three explosions because of our our stacking frost explosion buff. I love it. Side, just a nice twenty percent extra damage. Like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. This test is simple. All you need to do is fight the wolf until it breaks. But it's too hard, you might say, huh? But it's not too hard. You are ready for this.
like how particularly like, this is like some of the most important stuff you're doing here. This is gonna save your life later. Ding again? No, it was, it was them. Okay, good. I was gonna say, geez, I know it would level quickly, but that's a little too much. First things first, let's deal with this egg. I think this is the only. The only one of these here, so we might as well grab it while we're here. Because there are no other... No other tall striders in Pandaria. You know, it's very rare pet to have. It's incredibly common once we get back to the main world. I think the seagulls are actually pretty rare. Actually, that does fit, that does fit Void Elves very well. Just the... Yeah, in fact, we don't have Tameable Hawk Striders yet, so I'm hopefully we get Tameable Hawk Striders come, um... Come midnight. Because, yeah, I was going to say, we can't really... Can't really do the full Blood Elf experience. this. I need an easy way to handle all this. Of course, once we're done with this side of thing, we'll do another uh, lot of LFR and dungeons. There we go. All right, we gotta crack that. Oh, move that where it should be. Oh, 
we go. Hang on, do I have a leech? Yes, let's try that out and turn this into. Perfect hungering ruby. Just throwing eggs at us while we punch a rock. It's our pet. Go. Ditch Vampira can do the other one, but oh well, whatever. Greetings. I hope to see you again soon. Alright, that's wearing safari time. Speak up. Yep, it'll take us to any of the, the previous areas so we can uh, get them to all to catch up. But we need to go down here and we'll We'll grab the Ken Ken flight. We'll head back up and grab uh, that. Hello. No, I think you gonna pull. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, you little bitch. Jeez, people, so rude. Oh, the Gorge Stalkers. These are a fun one. These are Battle Cat. I'll grab one of these, actually, just for the hell of it. Um, oh, we've already got five pets. I'm going to have to find a stable master. Actually, we have one at town. Folly. Where the fuck is that? I know I've seen that before. Hang on, why not? I knew it. I knew where the Hammer of Folly is. It's not in this zone, though. Stable. That's fine. I know there's a stable master upstairs. Wait, they're both ferocity. PK is going away for now, then. I will keep Dawn Shadow. Hmm. Okay, anywho, Hammer of Folly isn't this zone. Check the other one, the Vermin Cave. I know Hidden Folly comes off the um there's a little weird so this one. Oh, I only have to find one of them, well that's easy. And there we go. We have the uh, Half Hill Farmer's backpack now. And look, we've got the friggin' full Zuin cloak. Now we're gonna have a chicken riding with us, which I think is a pretty good reward.
In fact, let's do that. Let's grab a chicken backpack. Actually, it's not. I like the zoo and cloak. We will definitely need to change up our appearance. Um, we'll we'll do nesting wary and then we'll call it for the night. I don't believe we'll have the siege of our uh, stone plow until we're done with uh, crossering. So how's our uh, cloak? Ah, uh, the free rides a lot of time thing. Oh, that's fine. Uh, fox? All right. Yeah, these ones are very funny because they're battle cats. Well, based on the level we are, you know what we really do need to do? To really fancy today off. I have to go and visit to pay a visit to a certain someone who, uh... Every 15 minutes... Is killed. As he has... past decade
Oh, the sly foxes. Ooh, those pants are upgrade. Gloves on. So once we're done with Nessing Wary, which we don't need to be doing, but whatever. Storm, hello. That might have a good combo with our one that does more uh, damage if we stun opponents, if we just have the ability to stun everything. I think you guys are in the sword. Seems we can just stand Oh, cool. We're gonna grab Dark Light when it respawns. He's telling me the Shards are just standard types. I thought they were um, exotics. There we go, I was about to say, I don't think we can get any many swift ones, but that's a swift opal. Ferocity one. What are these actually? What are these? Um, I know that time old. That's tenacity. Okay. Can I grab one of them? They're stags are pretty elfy. There's some reddish ones. Grab Dark Hard because you know he's an easy grab. There 
There we go. Oh, he keeps the name. Excellent. Two of them, how generous of you! Just need one more. Oh, looking on bronze, by the way. Mmm, 14k, pretty nice. I suspect this may lead to some of the issues between the two nesting wearies in uh, the current expansion. I need to go hunt where you can get the uh, black and red dragon quarters. You know the one. That one. That kind of is like the best look of them. back.
your back. Safe travels. Good job, fucking Nessingwary Junior. Yeah, that's turtle territory. This lets us swim far quicker than if we were just doing it normally. Case in point is we just absolutely overtake that poor person having to swim down there. Rather than ride a turtle. go all right level 60 a perfect area why do i have unspent dragon riding glyphs oh have i really not spent any of these there we go All right. Ken Ken time. But most importantly, we're going to go do our dailies for the day. And the most important daily to do. Send someone who dies every 15 minutes. So I'm going to keep on this character until we get every main zoned eye.
Had a bunch of spools, but we did not get any... Didn't get the mount. One day... chest up there. Holy fuck, look at those boots. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Oh, it's impeding raw is a buff for the whole team. Alright, so, um, it's probably time for us to do the fun shit. Oh, we can do all LFR. I'm gonna need a drink for this one. Crossarang is actually the most important uh, zone, as that is the one that has the the weapon unlock. Shield wall is, of course, from here. So, first things first scenarios. And a little heroic scenario as well, because why the fuck not? Sure, we need the next big one. Yeah. Oh, we're doing this one again, huh? Okay. This one gives you rep for it, which is why people must be running it. I hope it gives us rep for it, because that's going to be very convenient.
old school human model. I know that model. I don't see that too often. That's from like the beta of the game. Oh, we both have the same tiger. Repeat that? How can I help you? My friggin... How did you die to one shadow? Oh well, whatever. We've won. Alright, that is our scenario of the day. Still not the ones we need, but whatever. Did we get any rep for that? Nope. Well, that's fine. Hey, look, another bronze.
go. Just gotta up things in quickly. Hi, Mogoshan! This is good, actually. We need this for one of them. Oh, hello. Farewell. I hope to see you again soon. May your days bring you joy. Let's see if we get the good stuff, because there's... Yeah, Ghost Heart. You can see all the other ones get bounced away by that as well, which is always fun. Oh, three tinker slots on this one. Excellent.
That belt's gonna be a very fun upgrade once we put the fun stuff in there. The other hunter's lost. Treasures, but I don't think we're going to be doing treasure grabbing. See if we can't snow. Thank you for that. Hey, we all made it up.
he is. Okay, can we not tank him on the fire? Why don't we generally tank him up over there? Yep, yeah, that's why you don't like to tank him here. Okay, can we please get out of the flames? Let's hop on out. That's our dungeon for the day. I'll probably keep that quest so long until we find someone who actually wants to do it. I believe mastery is more useful for us. I'm sorry, do I have a haste in there? No, I've got a mastery. I was hoping we could upgrade that. Oh well. Now, normally I do every single LFR, but it is getting late. Uh, but you know what LFR we haven't done so far? We haven't done the bane of LFR. Everyone's favourite boss. And possessor of really good rogue transmog. Uh, we haven't done throne. I don't remember. Oh, I remember. All oh, right, all the hunter transmog sucks for these dungeons. I forgot. Siege isn't too bad on certain characters, on um goblins and gnomes, but uh, hang on. Why is this thing only two bosses defeated? We beat three up. Weird. Oh, well, we'll do a heroic just to fix that, and then we will do.
Throne of Thunder, one of the best raids in the game. How am I doing it too fast? Alright, let's just let me see what we actually get from Throne. Good, fun stuff we can get. Ah, oh, yes, that's this set. Also, a pair of really good, um... Oh, right, yeah, it's the Troll Chamois set. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's very Zandalari as fuck, if you want to do a Zandalari uh, Chamois. Also got this really good gun, Voice of the Quillen. But sadly, the my favorite weapon from there we can't get. Um because survival doesn't use fist weapons. There you are, Sorok Battle Gear. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. As far as Hunter Gear goes, not too bad. And of course, the Throne of Thunder Gear, which looks really good if you're, like, you know, a teched up gnome. Doesn't really work all that well for. Blood Elf. Or a Void Elf. Um, what does look good, though, is the Malevolent Gladiator's Chain Armor, which really should go snag. Oh, excellent. Come on, Dorumu. I want to see some people die. Uh, I'm pretty sure those braces are good. Bleach is always good. I think we're going to be kind of rocking a Zandalari, despite being a belt. Oh yeah, we can get Dire Horns, can't we? Because, um, they don't need exotic. Just doing LFR to get all the LFR sets in this is a really good idea. I need to, um... This, evil. this shit primordius, let me tell you.
Finally got the pet from him? No, of course not. Uh, we did get the Horlock of the uh, Witch Doctor, though, so we'll currently just have half the shot. Oh! Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. I might actually need to make a Zandalari Shami. Uh, speaking of ones that I killed I for pets, uh, no, I killed this for Warlock. Definitely gonna keep our um, lightning for this. The idea is you keep a huge one alive while he does startup sequence so that you can not have a full power one, but I think you can only go to 80% anyway here, so... That's an amazing fucking mechano name. To the depths. I'm gonna just have the staff. I wanna smack people with a die horn on a stick. Sort out our inventory once we're done. I'm out of range. Can we tame to order this actually? Let me just check. I must get closer. I do not have a target. Um you can't actually tame to autos on live, it's probably just because we're in this. If you ever do feign death, he does this. Oh, shell spiders are down here. Interesting. So you normally go over there, but people have already aggro this, so it's just like, well, whatever. Oh, shale worms are down here. Interesting. If we could get a group together, we could snag some. Actually, no, it's 63. I don't think we can.
How the fuck did they already get over there? Why is there another fucking captain power? Oh, hang on, let's just... I require a target. Yeah, when I get my clothy up, um, you don't know how often I ran this. You never break the frost one, you always go for the other one. to the other position. Oh, taking out a frozen one, that's unusual. Now you can tell I've done this on LFR a lot. This should be the final one. One more.
Caduceus of pure moods. The, uh, that one... That one CD. Ah boy, here we are. Oh my god, how many people did the snail just kill? Look at all the dead! Imagine if you just tame Jikun right before people are coming in to do it. Oh, once? Everyone dies to the snail all the time. Imagine just fucking stealing Jikun out from this group. That would be so rude. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's Jikun. Like, it's Jikun. I'm just saying. As far as, like, you know, why are we taking so much damage? Is it those bugs? Hang on, combat log. Okay, the bot fly, the bot fly swarm finally died. I really should have ducked back. That's a nice appearance or something. Porter, where the hell do you get that? Oh, right, we're in fucking this. That's where you get it from. Yeah, you know, this just pile of shit I have in my inventory that I haven't touched. Hey, how you going anyway, Lich? How, how's things going over your end? Um, oh, fuck, I just remembered. Someone should probably go down to the nests, but I don't think we're going to need it. God, I don't, I don't think we've spoken in person for like five fucking years. I, I think we've just been in similar chats, but not actually speak to each other in person. <laughs> uh, you know, just one of those things. Oh boy, I think I've got the whole- I think I've got like half the shaman set. I'm not even a shaman. Yeah, more threads of experience into- Ooh, infinite power. Y yes, the Augur Celestial Wings. That- there we go, I'm done. Do not cross X. I will not res you if you die. Duly noted. Hell yeah! Uh, I've been I've been needing to go in and actually make some models for dumb stuff. The recent goings on have got me inspired again. Oh, damn, this dude's fucking just absolutely fucking going mad. I love it. You don't know what this person's doing, but he's killing everything. Yep. I mean, you, you've... Ow, my face. Why am I tanking? 
<laughs> I'm not a tank. <laughs> I mean, you, you've just, you've seen the recent goings on. Um, I don't know. Have you seen the recent goings on that we do not let other people know about because they're fucking big ass spoilers? Where is everyone? Come on, come on. I'm trying to catch up to this friggin' priest who's gone ahead a million miles an hour. Oh god, shit's just exploding behind me. Oh, hi, Hopalaza. Some, um, you seem to be pulled already. Oh my god, why am I tanking? Okay. Um, I will say nothing. What's this, Adi? What are they doing to our elementary? Hey, hey, you! Those are our <sighs> You fool! You see into the fight. Yeah, pretty much. You, you, you. I, I, just, just, yeah. That's all you need to know, really. Oh god, Saturday's fucked. Saturday's cooked. I'm just gonna tell you this now. Everyone is... Saturday's just cooked. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Fuck's sake, get rid of stealth. Are you ready for peppers? God, what the hell does this dude have on like his... I gotta find what this dude's got. He doesn't even have any good, like, shit there, but he's still fucking kicking everyone's ass off. Fucking shit, this is happening, this is happening. I mean, you know, opera's all about death when you get down to it. operas <laughs> like fucking these two people fall in love and then they fucking die the musical <laughs> last stand of the zandalari my favorite my favorite trolls in this game you have to understand oh explosive shot thank you yes please i love explosive shot um you have to understand how fucking um nuts i am about the zandies um Back in, back in vanilla, wow. So, okay, you know, wow, shock and horror. I, someone who's in fucking misused chat and oblivious is, is a role player. What a, what a shocking surprise. Surprise of the century that no one would have seen coming. Um, but I, most of my war, war most of my role play has been in World of Warcraft. Uh, because... I am Ahab, and this is my white whale, and I am bound to this thing for eternity. Yeah, I used... I, okay, I wasn't an ethereal as the best model I could find, because making, a, like, a necromancer dude with, like, robes... With, like, cloth all over one arm is a fucking bitch and a half, and I still haven't done it, um, six years later. I could literally just rip a model from fucking... I could l rip the armor from fucking Soul Calibur. I still haven't done it. I literally have the tools for this. But, my eternal war with making models aside, I have to make a model for Dean. He, that's gonna be fun. Um, back in Vanilla Wild. Back in Vanilla Wild. Wow, there was a Warcraft RPG, and it was based on Dungeons and Dragons 3rd Edition. Um, you will either have good or bad 
opinions on that being based on D&D 3. Um, <laughs> based on, you know, based on, if you, if you, if you were around during those times, you know. Oh, or you don't know. I don't know. Um, but the thing is, like, the lore books were real good. Um, you gotta understand, like, I am deep in Warcraft lore. Uh, one of my friends at the time, they have an NPC in-game named after them. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Um, basically, it was big on, it was big on the, um, lore. And, hey, did you ever do Storm Peaks on Horde? Um, did you ever encounter a little NPC called Zarantor, the first of the Tauran Druids? And, like, one of the first, um, Time Walkers? Wielder of the Lore Hammer? Oh, Storm Peaks. Yeah, sorry, I meant Storm Peaks. Why is some why is one of the tanks dead? Ah, no, that's fair. Um But my friend Zaran, they used to do these big lore dumps on the European forums, and they just have an NPC in game named after them. Who is canonically the first Tauran Druid ever, who died should have died centuries ago, but you know, um they got you know, they they buddied up with the bronze dragon flight as you do, and are now immortal and work for the bronze dragons. So, you know, I'm a little in bad with Warcraft lore. And along comes the RPG. Now, if you remember correctly, like, back in Warcraft 3, we're introduced to the fact, okay, trolls aren't just green anymore. Now we have blue trolls. The jungle trolls. Everyone loves the jungle trolls. We, we, we love Senjin. We love Vol'jin. Uh, we love Rock'an. Good bunch. Why am I being spirit fire beam? Um, the RPG comes along, and it's talking about these other trolls who live on this mysterious continent of Zandalar, and they're like the smart trolls, they're like, you know, they're smart trolls who like to go around and reset shit, and note, like, you know, note down, um, Darkspear for life, man, Darkspear never gonna die. Um, these trolls who, like, go around to do research and shit, and it's like, oh, you wouldn't, oh, for fuck's sake, it's going back. Um, you wouldn't associate that with the trolls, you know, they kind of, you know, they kind of got the not-so-great stereotypes, but... The, the Zandalari, they just don't have that stereotype. They're great mages and everything, you know? And then they show up in-game, and it's like, oh, cool, you're just using pink, um, pink skin on the dark spear. I can be one of these in game now if I just pink the pinkest. The, well, it, it was still blue, but the pinkest blue you can pick. So, back in vanilla World of Warcraft, I am role playing a fucking Zandalari who's just chilling out with the Horde because he's like, look, you guys are friends with the Dark Spear. It's the Zandalari's duty to just record stuff, and you guys seem to be going pretty good with the Dark Spear, so I'm just gonna, you know, vibe with you and chill out here. So that's why the Zandalari are my favorites. <laughs> that's why the Zandalari are my favorites. This isn't the first time I just pick the most obscure bit of lore for a character. Um, my. Yep. This is back before they get this appearance. Uh, he has since been remade as a Zandalari Paladin, because why the fuck would I not make a Paladin who rides a dinosaur? Why would you not have a Paladin whose, like, sacred steed is a Triceratops? Everyone knows, you know, we've all been around our 
certain dungeon masters who insist that paladins are, are gotta always be good and they gotta do the fucking you gotta and you convert someone to good and then immediately kill them because then they die good oh my god i hate dungeons and i love and hate dungeons and dragons so much you do not understand lich i have the most fucking anger about this goddamn game sometimes um anywho my eternal war against gaiax aside uh where is the far rack no that's completely fair Torin kind of Torin Torin good i actually am very t i this is like an old roleplay character from back in the day I'm redoing. Because fuck leveling in proper ways, but um, I am very tempted to do like a um... If you've seen the um, the helmet you get for leveling a hunter, um, it looks real good on Tauren and I'm kind of like, mm, I kind of should have made a Tauren. Um, the wa warrior weapons are like worgen as fuck. The elf ones are shock and horror, are mage as fuck. Well, the mage ones are elf as fuck. Oh, hello there, Dinomancer. You should not be here. Um. Don't. D by the way, Dinomancer, best fucking job description ever. Imagine being a Dinomancer in something. Like, fuck's sake. War God, also a pretty good job description. Well, I'm just saying, the Zandalari have the best job descriptions. You can be a Dinomancer, you can be a War God. Why wouldn't. Why aren't these kind of the best? I mean, you know, they also, you know, this entire expansion currently going on is basically saying their po point of view in the world is actually pretty shit. Um, due to the fact they are stuck to the past. Oh, really? Hell yeah! Uh, no... No mount today. One day. One day I'll get that mount. Do I know the Sky Guard and Blades Edge Mountain? Um, let me just. Uh, feared. <laughs> Let's just make sure we're not going to get feared first. Hang on. Um, do I know the 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 Shatari Sky Guard? My blue riding Netheray. I've got all the Netherays. <laughs> It has, however, been many years since I last went up that way. I am not the biggest fan of Burning Crusade, I gotta admit. I'm that person who prefers uh, Warlords over it. You gotta, you gotta make sure you kill the Voodoo Spirits. You can't just leave them. No, very, very familiar with the Sky Guard. Fun old, fun old group. Made sure I had to do it. Made sure I did them once they, uh... Because of the mount. Like, I, I've done so much in this game because of mounts. Literally, I'm doing this because of mounts. I'm about to spend... 29k... 29k bronze on mounts well, after this. The gnome! I know Katie! She's my- f I, I'm a main on- I'm main a gnome! Of course I know Katie! Oh my god, wait, can we just leave these dudes? I thought you had to fight all these! I fought all those when I'm normally running through here. Hell yeah! Us gnomes gotta stick together. There's not many gnome MP. There's not many gnome important people in the game. Yes, I know I'm leveling a void elf at the moment. Look, this is an old roleplay character. Oh god, that reminds me of something really stupid. Um, should we kill these, by the way? Like, oh, let's just zap these out.
Okay, I know when I hear Garage about the Mod is the Zandalari that someone has got to the boss room, so. Oh, hell yeah. See, that Stargate ammo would have been good. Have you? Wait, were you on um the Minecraft serve? Were you on um Swarm SMP? I think you were. I think you, you, you were totally on Swarm SMP, right? You you went bugkin, so I don't. You went bugkin this season, so I don't. I probably never ran into you too much. Though if you if you heard the mystery of whatever Dean hours was, that's my fault. Yeah, I'm dead, so I wouldn't have ran into you too much. Except at the end where, you know, we're all kind of... Oh, Frost King wants it. Look, it's like I said, we, we, you know, if, if things had gone different, we totally could have holed up in, um, in, the, 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 in the Swarm territory. But I don't think anyone would have liked it except us. We, did you were you on the expedition to get us out to get um to get the eggs? Okay, no, then you you didn't get to deal with the fun. Um, they were lucky I was on that expedition because I was the only person who knew my way through the fucking maze we lived in. Mo a little bugkin secret. You, you know, I figured everyone knew. We all lived underground. I, I figure, I figure bugkin lived underground. It was like an open secret to everyone. Um, what you guys didn't know is we only lived in the one spot underground, and we had fucking miles of tunnels that we lit up and did nothing with, because um, <laughs> we did nothing with it until um, Zenobia, my boy, um. He... Why am I being followed by giant clouds? Um, he, he goes to the very end tunnel we've made. The furthest one. And he turns that he turns that into, like, this little beautiful garden. And we also make a shrine to the queen there. As, you know... Regular bug in activities. But yeah, if you if you download the map and just look, you'll you'll notice that there's just all of this cave and nothing is done with 90% of it. You you guys did have a good um essence of you. Oh, wait, did I why did I get essence? Oh, there we go, essence of Zuan. Um, essence of Chi Ji, Fortitude from Dazao. Yeah, I heard you guys had it absolutely awful because you guys didn't have the best time at, um... You guys didn't have the best time with healing at the start, apparently. <laughs> we were being overrun. We were being overrun by zombies every night, so the first day, right, like... The first day, I make the worst mistake of my life, which is I find out a really powerful defensive strategy, and then I pass the knowledge on to irresponsible people and leave them alone for a couple of hours. So, you know, I figured out we had thorns in the jungle. And at this point in time, we were not immune to the thorns. We were slowed down by them, but we didn't take damage. They worked like sweet berries. In fact, they were sweet berries. They accidentally started giving us sweet berries. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Yeah, I heard about this after the fact from you guys, and I'm like, oh, oh, ouch. I understand why we didn't see you guys for like the longest. Um. Alright, I'll gladly take some Mogu, Mogu Lord boots. Uh, Trail Seekers Iron Bounds, yes please. Yeah, I heard about it. It's just like, oh, 
That's why you guys are... Yeah, oh my god, yeah, at the begin with, I see, but then later, I just saw you. I, I ducked... I, I grabbed the map. I, I mean, you, you probably saw all the fancy screenshots I was taking. I think it's a little obvious I grabbed the map. Um... Mastery, haste, and oh, armor, armor, such a useful stat for a hunter. Um, I grabbed it and I just looked into the swamp and I just see all these tiny, tiny little, little nodules of gold everywhere. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, d I couldn't count how many there were, there were too many. But you, you guys definitely did not get them all. No, you didn't. Like, there were so many more. It was ridiculous. I do not see how you could possibly have gotten them all. <laughs> I'm sorry to give you this dark information. But I feel you had to know. Now, what do we actually have? Deadly Sapphire. Crit oh, I won't know. I'm going to upgrade these babies. We got semi-lucky because ours were all in the mountains. But we, we only knew where one of them was, right? Now, we had issues with some of our bugs. <laughs> we had issues. Um, You know how to do flight in, in Minecraft, you know. Um, They had that mod on, the um, change of flight one. And anywho, so it turns out none of our... um. None of our guys knew how to use that. So, half of our... We, we suffer so many deaths. <laughs> oh, that's clever. That's clever. We suffered so many deaths because half our fucking flyers just get plummeting into the ground. There's just this giant net thing at... What is the hell, Sun Shriders? Thank you. There's this giant net thing at our base. You want to know why it's there? It's to try to catch the fucking flyers so they stop dying. But... So, we have, don't really have any defenses ready. We didn't have any food. The swamp kills every animal that's... The, not the swamp. The, the jungle kills every animal that spawns in there. The thorns are just, like, murdering everything. And thankfully, we find out that the thorns give sweet berries. So we managed to survive on sweet berries for days because we cannot find any pigs or chickens. The first time we find a chicken, we put that thing in a cage and we, we fucking keep that under lock and goddamn key until we finally get enough eggs that we can finally start raising them. Yeah. Yeah. Because the problem is, we, all, we had to eat. We were... We, <laughs> Buggy's kind of organic. We had to eat. It's just that our landscape killed every animal that we tried to get. And if it wasn't the landscape, it was the wild undead. So you know what we had to do? You know what we had to do? Because our... That was so fucking good. When I saw those, when I came... When I saw those, when you're looking at the map, I'm... Actually, I think I saw those ones in character because... <laughs> oh, this is... Well, but like, one of the last days, they accidentally a command and they give, um... They gave out Lewis's, um... Trident to everyone by accident. I'm just wandering around the base and I'm like... I've come across... I've, I've just a trident in my inventory. I'm like, huh. I know Lewis likes tridents and this is literally called Lewis's Guiding Light. I must have accidentally picked this up, and, um, Dean, it was, he was chummy enough with, um, Gallant. And Gallant had just shown me where the, the, your guy's secret thing was, and I'm like, you know, Dean walks away from it, because he doesn't want to fucking intrude on your secret stuff. He understands we're all together, but you guys still have your secrets. But, um, that comes down, and I'm like... I should probably go and talk to Gallon about this. I think I just accidentally picked up one of your guys' treasures. Um, then thankfully the news comes out that, oh wait, that was an accident. And I just run into Gallon and it's like, 
I was about to tell you something, but I don't think it actually happened. So, um, you know, good day. <laughs> uh, amazing times. Why are three people dead? Did they stand on the zap? I think they stood on the zap. Why are, why? Okay, I guess it's not as, okay. I remember this being a lot clearer back in MOP. Anywho, um, you know, Dean, I presented a nice friendly face, but also he was the most scheming goddamn bunkin of the lot. Um... Unfortunately, he was one of the most competent bunkin of the lot, which <laughs> basically meant everyone liked him, despite the fact he occasionally just... I found out piranhas can eat the bones from people. What can we do with this knowledge? Oh, that's... I, I heard about that. That's ridiculous. I wish... I wish things were a lot more passive, because if you just contacted us, we have such good mining. Ah, uh, slight. Well, jeez. You, sh you should have not been racist to us by the end of it. Look, <laughs> alright? You missed the part where we were a day away from going to war with the Natureborn. <laughs> Which, you know, you think like, hang on, Bunkin going to war with Natureborn? That doesn't sound right. Um... One of the bug, one of the nature born, one of the na one of the nature born comes to us in the, like really early on, and he absolutely tries to ream us on a trade deal. You know what? That's fair. We had no spiders, and when we saw one, it was a chance of celebration. We had no spiders. We had zombies. We had so many drowned. We we were just. So many creepers, so many zombies. We had to deal with fucking charged creepers on the regular. I have a little, um... I had a little hidey hole off near the mist. I call it Fog Watch. Um, we encountered multiple charged creepers there. On the regular. It was horrifying. But the, the Natureborn tried to ream us on a trade deal. And Kadgar, 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 it, we have, so, there's like, the voting for leadership, and there's like, two people who are gonna have any chance. There's Kadgar, and you wonder what Kadgar's thing is? We will go to war with the nature born in the morrow if you vote for me. That's just it, that's just his platform. <laughs> the nature bomb have wronged us. We will go to war. <laughs> they tried to reap us with a deal. They're trying to build a fucking trade shit on our land. Nah, no, fuck that. We gonna we gonna fucking go to war. We gonna do war. Um, however, Chitter did win that vote. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> she did win the votes, and uh, she had the, um, she, she had the, <laughs> I think, I think we still might have some of the posters up, um, <laughs> her category was diplomacy, let's be diplomatic and not go to war with everyone. <laughs> Those were the those were the bunkin political parties. Fucking kill the nature board or okay, maybe we should be diplomatic for now. Oh, I did not. Um Oh, I, I was keeping up with Bunkin Bunkin politicking, um, in our 
and make yeah i was keeping up the bugkin politics about our eggs because bugkin basically dean ended up an uncle because he's best friends with the dude who's basically taking care of the eggs so it's like ah okay Yeah, I probably wasn't there because of, um, Dean hours. I, th I think the constructs had to deal more with people just inexplicably saying Dean hours and leaving. And that was just because I- it, that was the time where I get on <laughs> and I was the only bug kid around. Oh, yeah? Oh. There is one thing you're gonna hate. Um, you know your guy's mine? Oh, fancy. That is, oh, that's fancy. You got your guys' mind, but you had to, like, do some TNT shit? Me and a couple other people, like, on basically the last day. Oh, no, you- um, I was down there with Gallant and Lewis. You guys had, like, this weird TNT minecart contraption going on. But, um... Bugkin could mine deeper than, like, even a non-mining Bugkin could mine deeper than the average undead. Because, um, we're, we're trying to get more, um, emerald. And, and Lewis and Gellert are doing this whole thing with the, um... The traps and I'm just I just duck down and I'm just mining shit and they're like, wait, hang on, you can just mine that? And I'm like Yeah, I'm not a miner, so I'm not getting the best ore ratio, but yeah, we're fine with it here. Oh, why the fuck am I stood here? Uh fuck's sake. Oh my god, that would have been so good if I got it on. <laughs> That would have been so good if I did it back on. Yeah, we did that. If you um look down at the bugkin mine, we went fucking hard on the first day. We had so much gold <laughs> before they took the gold away. We had so much of it. It became fool's gold and we just sort of kept it in a chest afterwards. But like we had so much. Like, Shen's a good fight. It sucks I'm down here and I can't even be rezzed. <laughs> Though, I, I gotta admit... Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 I don't think we got any big bugkin revelations. I mean, aside from the fact we're taking our and the entire remainder of our people with us. Which is why the bugkin were a bit, uh... Oh, hell yeah. That That's cool. That's cool as shit. That's cool. You know what? It's a, it's a cool thing for the character. I wasn't in season one, so obviously I couldn't have done anything, but, um, hell yeah.
Hey, Throne of Thunder. Oh, someone just got level 70. It's a cool little self thing, and it helps the um the uh, the connection. Go. All right, before I head off, I'm gonna have to sort my goddamn inventory. <clears throat> Oh, you know what? Completely fair situation for that sort of thing to be triggered, though. Oh, hello there, three tinker slots on my shoulders. Alright, so we'll go Incendiary Terror. Um, our enemies just flee in fear every now and again. Wildfire, um, our attacks set everything on fire. You know, completely makes sense, yep. Alright, uh, that's not good. That's fine. Uh, avoidance I don't need. Please don't tell me these are all avoidance pants. They're all avoidance pants. What a great... What a great start for a hunter. Avoidance. It was. I... Now, I did have a reason for bringing up Minecraft, believe it or not. Um... Stargate. Um, I've been mucking around... With all the mods, the um the mod pack, <clears throat> and there is a Stargate mod in that that is actually genuinely fun. Yep, I have never seen Stargate. I should probably mention, or if I have seen it, it was so long ago I could tell you literally nothing about it. But I can use it to teleport across the universe to different planets. <laughs> it's it's a fun little mod i oh, who was i speaking with i was speaking to someone else about like other silly ideas you could do and like because you can like control the gate and people have to like type in the codes to get between dimensions like if you hooked that up with like something else that um Uh, actually, no, no, I'm not gonna, gonna ditch this mastery one just here. No, I'm gonna ditch the speed one, because we have a better speed one. Perfect Swift. Like, just imagine one where, like, every, like, every faction has their own dimension. And there's just one way in, and it's just these portals. And you kind of want to keep people from knowing the exact combination to get into your dimension. But also, if they do break in, there's only one spot they can break in, so you've got this one point of failure. Unless, of course, someone sneaks around and actually builds another portal with a different address. Like, it is very much just me looking at this mod and just going, huh, that'd be fun. Um, I, I'm going to be doing a... Oh god, I've been meaning on doing this for fucking months now, doing a um, mod pack for some friends. Um, and I just looked at that and I'm like, oh, I could see such so much silly fun with that. Uh, scrap all that into bronze, and once we get all this done, we can actually look at the... We can look at the other fun bits in boobs. That we can actually trade for, because the good thing about this about this is there's so much just 
random mounts that have been in the game for decades and not been accessible that are finally accessible. It's like, cool, we've been waiting on some of these things for like active decades. Like, for example, my uh, go-to mount at the moment is the Dashing Windsteed. Um, the originals of this were included in the game back in Mr. Pandaria well over 10 years ago, and this thing hasn't been seen since. But now there's... In fact, I have the one because I am... Um, there you go, Swift Windsteed. You could have had to buy it in the store, but now you've got three other versions you don't have to buy in the store. You can just get them here. And there's also a lot of sets that they've made available. For example, um, as you know, Mr. Pandaria, kind of the best expansion. But there was something missing from Mr. Pandaria. Uh, you couldn't be a Shadow Pan, but now they've got the whole Shadow Pan set. So you can just talk to this dude here. Uh, not this dude here, but you can get... You can get this set, which I think looks Torin as fuck. I don't really like it on Velf, but whatever. Um, why is up uh, you? You talk to this person here. And hey, remember the core cron set that's a goddamn bitch and a half to get? Well, guess what? You can just buy it now. It's only 250. That's cheap. But also, there's two more recolors of it. So you can look fancy and fly as fuck. <laughs> You just want cool pandaren outfits that fit pandaren characters and really don't fit my blood elf? Here you go! Only the belts were accessible on these. Now you've got the whole thing. It's really good. And these sets, this is normally a cloth set. Now you can wear it on everyone if you spend the spend the spend the bronze on it. Yep. Because they did the they did the other one recently, um, Plunderstorm, which Plunderstorm was fun. Okay, F thirty five k. Now I could keep saving to get this, and I think everyone knows why this is something you kind of want to save for. But. I can always farm that. I can always farm that. For some of these other things here, you can't always farm. Uh, so let's just start um, actually getting the things that matter. Like, look at all the cranes. Look at them all. Just cranes, cranes, cranes. These have been in the game for decades. They haven't been. To, they haven't been in the game. <laughs> <laughs> They've been like just there, just wanting someone. Oh hell yeah! Which one did you get? See you soon. I cannot use that item yet. Son of Galleon. Mmm, good, good. I've I've been kind of half wanting to get that. Um, though my particular uh, fancy mount of choice. I understand you might not be able to see him, but it's why can why why his name's invincible? Why can we see him? Well, you goddamn son of a you goddamn! <laughs> you know how I got it? Um, you ever done the um? Time walking. T Raven Lord as well. Huh? Raven Lord as well. Raven Lord as well. You know, closest thing I have to Raven Lord? I got the Dread Raven. You gotta buy. I got the I got this one because I liked Warlords of Draenor so much. This is the closest thing I have to the Raven Lord. Yeah, I mean it's a purchase mount, so it's. What can I do for you? 
not fancy. But uh, okay, let's just grab all the let's just grab all the cranes. Fuck it. I, like, I don't need bronze. I mean, look, I should be keeping some bronze to upgrade my shit, but also, on the other hand, um, I can just run LFR and get tons of bronze and not have to do much effort. Whereas, on the other hand, the mounts are limited time. Gear... There we go. That's our bronze spent for the day. <clears throat> Jungle riding crane. Guild? Oh, that's is actually a Shadowlands one. This is the... They added a bunch of new skins to the crane in Shadowlands. This isn't... This isn't an old one. This is from Shadowlands. Pale, this is another one of the Shadowlands ones. I, I love the cranes, by the way. In fact, before we go off... Oh, this... This one... Look at this beautiful fucking flamingo. So you actually have, um... Oh my god. Um, you're gonna hate what I'm about to say. I got Death Charger by accident. Oh, hang on, we're going to see a very funny one up. So, you know, this is your average goat. Snowy riding goat. Little red riding goat, on the other hand. <clears throat> it's a little small. I love when they play with the scale like this. So yeah, so stab to Mushan. Standard yak. Uh, before we go, though, I <clears throat> let me just check. We might be able to get a rare pet I have to check the way we do this because it's been a hot minute so a thing they did back in Mr. Pandaria is they um okay now we could be lazy and go and get the fucking the lookalike but we could also be cool And by being cool, we can actually get ourselves a very rare pet. Yeah, I mean... The thing is, though, like, 90% of these are just old mounts. Like, these are just old mounts that have sat in the game files for decades being unused. I... I mean, look, I used to... Look, you even said I used to use an, an ethereal model. I kind of know the Warcraft file system a little bit. Um... So I know they've had these things in file, but they're finally just dragging them out now. Um, one of the other mounts they've had in the games for years and haven't done anything with I'd like them to do is the car mount. Did you know there's a car? Yeah, um, you, you drive it in the, um, <clears throat> no, it's, you drive it in the Goblin starting zone. They actually have it set up as a mount in the game. But, um, it's not really been made available. Yeah, that one. There's actually a, there's actually a rideable one that's got, like, the full multi-seed and everything going on. But, guess what? They've never made it available. Alright, um, we're going to go to the other side here, and we're going to try to track this creature down. So if you never played I mean, look, okay. <laughs> For people who haven't played during Mr. Pandaria, 
One of the things they did during Mists is they added a bunch of rare hunter tames. So we're looking for footprints, and they will have a. Uh, what's our tracking, by the way? Oh, it's Turtle Roleplay, the Warcraft Roleplayer add on. Oh, wait, they changed tracking to up here. Track hidden. Thank you. Um, so, you know, we've got the regular cranes here. <clears throat> you can get the pink crane. There's two ways to get it. You can go to the Timeless Isle. They added, they added a sympathy crane on the Timeless Isle. We don't want no sympathy cranes. Unfortunately, though, this dude has one of the longest fucking paths around this goddamn zone. Um, let me... Should be around here. Probably where I can see what happens, anything? Nothing. Uh, I'm gonna have to sort of do a really weird path for this. Because it, <clears throat> it doesn't look like this is the most popular of them, which means we might have a chance of just taming him. But also it means, unlike some of the other ones, like the exclusive appearance Fen Strider, there isn't an exact path in places you can just camp out to farm him. Unfortunately, his footprints are some of the worst. They kind of blend in. Kind of blend in with the terrain here, which makes it not so easy. But we can, in fact, tame a pink crane. And if... It's one of those tames where if you see someone with it, you gotta respect them for doing the effort for it. Especially on this, the limited time... Are they speaking of... Are they tameable? Really? Can't be tamed? I'm pretty sure you can tame those in Felwood. It's not a, uh, not a hunter. Oh, yeah? Something about here, from what I can see, is the... Oh, God, what did you just do to me? Hang on, I don't have the... F I don't have any bots or anything. Oh, but that's fine. Look, it's fine. No one follow. I, I stream at the deadest fucking times of day. It's completely fine. I think like half the people who follow me do it for speedrun content, which I have to get back into. I need to, uh... Yeah, exactly. It's not a good... Unless you're an Australian, it's not a good time at the moment. Um, hi, I'm a world record holder of Echo Jr., did you know? I've been on- I've been on GDQ. Not like the main event, some of their side events, but I've been on them. I comment- in fact, I have been on the main event once. I was commentating my friend, um... I was commentating my friend Grimshin's run. Yeah, I am... I don't think I have the normal mode record at the moment. Um, <clears throat> Technically, I still do have it. I just haven't submitted a time. But, um... Yeah, I'm a world record holding speedrunner. 
Why hasn't my character been in VR chat roleplay forever? Because I learned how to speedrun and I became a world record holder. Then I tried to speedrun another game and found it's the most inconsistent shit in my life and got disappointed with it. I have to go learn how to fucking hook a PS2 up to a fucking HDMI capture card so I can fucking buy a shovelware PS2 game in the hope I can run it better. Because the Wii version's a fucking nightmare. But people who know better than me tell me the fucking PS2 version's worse. But I haven't ran it. I haven't tried it yet. So I might be able to do speedrunning nonsense with it. Okay, we're not getting any luck over here. We're gonna go try the half hill, um, locations. So by the- what I can see, he paths up from half hill. Yep, I do indeed. I've, um, haven't been- haven't been doing much at the moment. I've been letting the record just sort of sit there for a while. Um... I kind of got dragged away by a siren song of a certain, uh, Ark Survival Evolved. Echo Jr. For the, uh, Genesis, the Mega, the, uh, Mega Drive. If you do want to speedrun, I highly recommend Echo Jr. Because Echo the Dolphin um, has something not very conducive to a speedrun. Uh, it's called a six minute auto scroller at the end of the game that if you fucking die on it at any point, congratulations. You've got another six minutes you've got to... You've lost. Just... Uh... Oh god, please don't tell me you found my old videos. I don't know why... As long as it's not the old ones, it's all good. But yeah, I have, um, held the title for a while now. I need to get back into it. There haven't been too many, um, discoveries or anything for me to really sink my teeth into. I just want to, um... Yes, all the speedruns! I was there! It was great! Love the crew there. Um... Also, I got COVID. I got COVID there. <laughs> Which is a fun experience. Don't get COVID if you can help it. Also did, uh, also did commentary and helping out for my friend Raiko on his Digimon World run. God, I need to... Oh no! Oh, stop sympathizing with your mate. I, I know what it's like. Shit sucks. I've got to go get the video up. <clears throat> is this path? Fatranache, what the fuck is this path? Okay, I've got the full path for this goddamn crane. We're gonna be in for a fucking trip here. Oh, mate, I'm pretty sure this fucking crane's drunk off his fucking gourd off all the fucking day. Mate's having a fucking VB long neck at 20 to 8 in the fucking morning, if you know what I mean.
Yeah, this is like the one expansion where to get the rare hunter pets, you actually gotta... Oh, the Hippogriff Crystals! I love the Hippogriff Crystals! That was a fun time. Did you ever do the, um, Lurid Nightmare? That was fun. I did that around release and it was some of the craziest shit. That was fun. I gotta get back and actually do some of the old ones. I completely missed out on the hive mind. And that's such a good silly mount that I really need to get a group. I was actually gonna get a group together. I've got all of the, um... I've got all of the things on a character ready to go, but the people we were doing it with, we never, um... Uh, you've been to the crypts. Oh, I've been to the crypts before as well. Hell yeah. I was going to do it with some friends, and then half of them vanish off, and... Dude, what the fuck is this path? So we go around here and come up here. Okay, yeah, I've seen this in some of the pictures, okay. As you do. Completely fair. So we'll probably go around the mud bugs here. Avoiding the uh, wetlands run, completely fair, completely fair. Yep, the uh, good old. I may mean, could have gone L L win to Dusky, but that's. Nope, I still know the path. I know you can tame those in Fellwood. Yeah, that vulture will do it. I'm gonna go down this way. Through these hills, I guess? And you stumbled into it. Oh boy. <clears throat> yep. You know what I decided to do? I did something like 
I did this deliberately because I was one of those dorks who followed a lot of, like, lost content shit. But I really decided that when I afforded my first mount in the game, I was going to celebrate. And as you know, um, you know, I've mentioned. God damn, I love those meteors. Um... Yep, not the that would that'll do it. And just this what the hell is this place? This shouldn't be here. Yeah, <laughs> such a such a creepy joint that one. I used to do a I oh, was so, so, so good despite the nightmare fuel though. I used to do a lot of the um lot of the um like um game prototype stuff like hidden areas um I blame Sonic 2 for this and hidden palace zone. But, um, you know what I decided I wanted to do? I wanted to go to the Caverns of Time. Which were in the game in vanilla. You just couldn't go in. Unless you died. And just walked walked through the gate. Just standard way. Just die, walk through the gate, res on the other side. The dungeon, the, the one we have at the moment wasn't in there. Actually, it's basically identical to how it is in vanilla. They just added the new wings for um the Deathwing raids. But it, it still had, even in vanilla, it had the... um. What the hell is this path? It had the... It had the gates for Hyjal and Black Morass and um, Durenhold. So they were planning on that since vanilla. And of course, the, uh, the absolute show of skill, the if you get here, um, Every, not really a patch, but a lot of it was like vanilla patch content they pushed into an expansion and other bits were fully expanded. Because, um, original Outland was supposed to be just one zone. Before they decided to expand it into a full expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Though, hot take, hot take alert, hot take alert, um, I don't think Burning Crusade is a good expansion. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> It had some great raids. Karazhan was is a still a fucking phenomenal raid. But the gameplay loop of Burning Crusade was not good. It was very much Are you up to date with raiding? Then you're probably gonna have an okay-ish time. But if you're not up the fucking cutting edge with raiding, you will be having a bad time. And you kind of loop through here, from what I can see. 
And, okay, look, hot take? They fucking flanderized, like, half the characters in it. Hey, here's, um, Kale, the hero character from Warcraft 3, who would do anything to save his people. Um, what is he now? He is evil. He is Illidan Stormrage. Tragic anti-hero. He's evil. Kill him. Thankfully, Legion decided to work with it. But the fact they needed a fix-up expansion over ten years later tells you. And the other problem is, as much grief as I will give, it's also got some of my favourite little bits of lore. Nagrand. It's where we met Garrosh. Even. And like, you know, Garrosh has, you know, has his many problems, but like, he he's still the hero, we, he's, he's still the villain we saw develop in the game the most. We saw that man, we got to watch his entire, he did a lot wrong, he fucking died. If he did, <laughs> die. <laughs> He fucking died. <laughs> Look, everyone knows the moment the fucking heroes get a sniff that you are dropping a fucking BIS item on you, your days are numbered. Um, the, the, I'm sorry, are you talking about the best part of Shadowlands? The, like, the only character who came out of Shadowlands looking good? <laughs> it, it's such a good scene. It's such a good scene. It's like, cool. Why... Why wasn't every character treated like fucking Garrosh? And by the sound of it, they didn't they didn't think people would like Okay, okay. If you say you hate Nerubians clap you gotta clap for that one see I, I thought you were gonna say like chips and stuff and i'm like okay i haven't followed chips in like six years um but i don't think he's anywhere near as charismatic as garrosh even as a vampire i i know you know he's chips he's pretty charismatic but garrosh is a whole other ball game but not you got me there you got me Yeah, I, um, I hooked, I've been watching the, uh, beta. I've been trying to get my hands on the new Nerubian model, because I want to make a model for Dean. And I want to, uh, liberally borrow from the Nerubians. I can't, I can't scratch model for shit, but boy, you better believe I can kit bash with the best of them. Hell yeah! And all the varieties. I want Nerubians to be playable. Playable Nerubians. Playable Nerubians. We got the fucking... We got the fucking Volpera. Alright, we got the Volpera. They came out of nowhere. And then people obsessed with them. Give us Nerubians. I will be obsessed with them. Yeah, I... I do it a lot of model making. I've been doing a lot of stuff for Neverwinter Nights over my years. I used to do, um... I used to do a lot of Warcraft 3. But the thing is, back in the day when I was doing Warcraft 3, we didn't have Blender. Um, the best you could really get was, like, Milkshape. And, look, Milkshape isn't the best. I'm pretty good at kit bashing. I actually need to, um, I was, I was going to actually whip my, um, 
I was going to- I actually- oh good, you know what I fucking did? You, you're, gonna, you're gonna love this one. Hey, remember how I ha I used to have a character in the metaverse and haven't played him in like years? I was gonna drag him back. And for dragging him back, you know what I had to do? I wanted a really particular look. I wanted the left arm is wrapped in mummy wraps that have some holes in them. So like you can see through to the darkness and void that his arm is made of. Because I don't know if you ever spoke with my character too much, but his story is he got forced into working for a lich. Basically mind controlled. He got hyped up with um he was a bit of a bit of a mystery solver, got way too in over his head, got forced into working for a lich, um pumped full of necromantic energy, and managed to when the lich is at the time fighting another enemy, bend the rules of the enslavement just enough that he manages to destroy the lich in the process accidentally basically unleashing a nuclear apocalypse of necromantic energy because, you know, he just blew up a lich's phylactery. Um... And as a result of that, he's lost his left arm to the Shadowfell. And he's also lost his true name in the process, which is off in the... If he can get his arm back, he can get that back. But my ruling on it is that the spot in the Shadowfell where his arm is... His arm's still alive, it's still connected to him, technically. But the spot is so absolutely just fucked up and inhospitable to life that even undead will start to rot away if they try to go in there unprepared. It's like, that is how bad this lich was? That his death has just left this horrid crater that will even ruin undead who go there. And that's why he has rot magic. Not on death magic, rot magic. It wasn't you. It wasn't you, but it was it was backstory backstory evil lich guy whose name I never came up with. So I basically just pretended my guy just always hated the dude so much he would never speak his name because you know we die one death when we die and another death when people stop talking about us and therefore if no one talks about you that's just another insult to injury but i was actually going to bring him back with stupid lore to explain why he's been missing for five years and i think i think this is stupid lore that's absolutely fucking perfect So Dungeons and Dragons. People love people love to just grab Dungeons and Dragons classes. Did you ever poke your head into second edition Dungeons and Dragons? Do you know do you know any of the the weirdness about that old edition? That's fair. So back then, you know, they've got the, they've got classes, but they have these extra things that you can add on top of your class called a kit. And this is like you these are like your proto subclasses, but they are Oh hell yeah. Congrats on that and hope it goes well. The kits are your proto subclasses. These are the Absolute bears, but the thing is, they're also not balanced well. Um, for example, have you ever heard of the Complete Book of Elves? Yeah, so the Complete Book of Elves has a... Oh god, you haven't heard of a Complete Book of Elves. Oh boy, um... If you want some comedy... The poor author who wrote this book had to end up apologizing for it because it reads like fucking elf apologetica it is ridiculous 
Like, it is... Yeah, it is. It is just. It is just. Pages of elves are so great. Oh, so lovely! Everything that isn't an elf is inferior. It is like absolutely like that. It is just absolute. Oh boy, it is just that. Which you know is a certain type of. Um, you know, if you just say that's an elf. I'm a gnome mage. You do know, right? I do not have a target. I'm a gnome main and I play trolls and goblins. Hell yeah. But, um, it has a kit in there. You might have heard of this little thing. It's called the Blade Singer. You might have heard of it in R5E, in fact. It's, um... That wizard subclass that just makes you a fucking defensive god. Yeah, Blade Singer. It's a wizard subclass that gives... Oh, really? Um, I think it's in one of the... I th oh, God, it's, it's one of the earlier ones. Um, it was in the book with the... It was, yeah, it was in the Forgotten Realms book that mostly, um... Most of them were shit, but the Blade Singer was, like, the one that wasn't shit. Like, it absolutely fucked up your damage, don't get me wrong, but it made you an unstoppable fucking tank of a wizard if you pick it. Um, but the Blade Singer is actually an old Dungeons & Dragons lore thing, and this is one of the earlier ones with it. And it's basically... Cool, so you can apply this kit to a fighter, uh, you get magic, you get... This Elven Blade, and you just become stupid powerful and strong. Um, what's the downside? There are no downsides. Like... <laughs> like, there's supposed to be, like, the, the roleplay downside, but... You know, Dungeons and Dragons Old Edition was very interesting about its roleplay downside. Oh, oh boy. If you don't know Old Editions, do you want to hear some fucking. You want to hear some cracked shit, Lich? You want to hear some cracked shit for how people used to play DD back in the day? All right, barbarians. Like, I don't think I need to explain what a barbarian is. They're pretty pop culture these days. But they weren't one of the basic classes. Oh, 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 you're gonna hate what I'm about to say. So in the original Dungeons and Dragons, um, would you like to know what the barbarians balancing mechanism was? You hate magic. You cannot use any magic items. You cannot party with a spellcaster, and if someone uses magic around you, you will just have to fucking kill them. <laughs> not wrong. But not great for party composition. It gets sillier, though. Um, you know the Paladin? You know the Paladin, the... This is, this is back in the Paladin has to be lawful good days, and word of creator of the game... Fucking Gygax is, you can convert someone to good and then immediately kill them so they die good. And that is a good thing. Word of lore. Don't actually do this. This is this. Yeah, stupid. Hey, what if paladins were worse? Yeah. You, you, you see why I gripe about all D&D &D a lot, I take it. Imagine if paladins 
were worse. Just... Okay, so we make them stronger. We give them a lot of horse riding abilities. Because, you know, riding a horse is absolutely something you're going to regularly be doing in Dungeons and Dragons. The, the um... The video game about... Well, the, the tabletop RPG about exploring dungeons and fighting dragons. So this is where we have the Cavalier. You okay, goat? Um, the Cavalier is basically a stronger paladin. Except you have the worst roleplay restriction. I'm going to tell you what the restrictions are. And just imagine. Just imagine that you have to put up with someone roleplaying like this in your party. Um, you cannot back down from a challenge. You are expected, when possible, to go out and meet them in solo combat. Because that's the most honorable. Complete with, um... You know. Treating the party accordingly. If they don't follow along on your insane suicide charges. Yeah, so, you know, your average metaverse roleplay character. <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez. Jeez, oh, jeez. Suicide charges and people leading them on insane suicide charges. Man, I wonder where I've heard that one recently. And not thinking plans through. Jeez, I wonder where I've heard that one recently. <laughs> but in the slightly tactical tabletop RPG of Dungeons and Dragons you can see why that's a bit of a detriment to the party oh the after the aftermath though the aftermath has got to be interesting That is a cat. It's looking for those freaking footprints. I still haven't found any footprints yet. <laughs> oh, we'll s Where did my map go? Thank you. I'm sure everything will be... Everything will be fine. Everything will not be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested, um, Saturday slash Sunday. It's Sunday for me when it happens. When it all goes down. Because holy shit, shit is gotta be... Mm. It's gonna be fucking fire. I, the aftermath of, I mean, obviously, we have to get at least something for old Chipsy, old Crispy Chipsy. Okay, does someone really tame this thing? I'll just go over to, um... So I'm, I'm figuring, I don't think it's going to be like the, still the event, but the aftermath of the event, that needs, people need the moment to grieve and 
or see what they can do to, to you know, <laughs> to rest, recover, actually see what, how to go ahead, and, um, you know, I'm not saying anyone's, oh, uh, and, um, <laughs> print out a label of, do not trust to do any tactical decision and slap it on a set and so on. Anyway, we're getting absolutely no luck with this freaking thing, so we're going over to Timeless Isle. Um, highly recommended you tune into this one. Um, there is some shit as mentioned. I'm aware of things. Yeah, Vev got absolutely fucked up. I'm also aware of things that you're not aware of because I watch other streams. And when that news comes out, shit's gonna be a bit... Well, fuck. You know, yep, completely fair. I, I, you know, I, I kind of, I, I do admit, I follow the Oblivious a lot, so I know all oh, the fucking timeless isle. Um. So I know most, I mostly know that side of things and what I've seen on that side. And oh boy, some things have been seen. That ain't that the thing, though, everyone. Everyone's got their own, uh, their own viewpoint. Oh god, have you heard, by the way, about the... the frog incident? Uh, you know what? Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna get one. We're gonna go get a frog. I, I came over here so we could get a um a crane, but I'm actually gonna. In fact, hang on. Why don't I have to try? I need to try being track beasts. Thank you. But I don't. I don't think they should have. That was in game ever since ever since Mop. We used to all frog farm in the day. Well, no, they've nerfed that one already. But the thing is, back in the day, um, these frogs... You, you know what you did on- uh, you know what you did on Timeless Isle? You came down here, you farmed the frogs to get your charms, and then you go up and you wait for Huo to spawn. Um... A friend of mine, who is the- the wife of my Final Fantasy character, who... I think you've seen you, you, if you, if you watched um, Miss Yu's streams, I've occasionally showed up on there on my uh, on my cat boy. But um, his wife, my friend Wolfie, who's um, who's a scarab lord, by the way. So you know, just gonna drop that one. Um, what the fuck was I saying? I got, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, because this is running on current, we can tame, um, gold frogs, by the way, if you want the frog. Yep. Um... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a frog for uh remembering better times. 
No frogs, no masters. Oh, tenacity. Oh, toads of tenacity, apparently. Yeah, but like, that's what we used to do in the day. Like, it's just let us have fun. Um, but, um, my friend Wolf, she's, she's on the community. <laughs> she's on the actual community. Um, like, the community one, you know, the, um, you get, like, the fancy title on the forum one. And she's been posting, like, yeah, they shouldn't have, <laughs> she's been like, nah, they shouldn't have nerfed it. And has been quite, posting quite strongly about that, so... Anywho, this is what we were looking for. I wanted to get the fancy one, but I couldn't find it. So I guess we got to go the sympathy, the sympathy crane. We got it anyway. We got our crane. You'll have walked the trial of hope and learned of the path Can I of the kill things crane. actually? May it guide your footsteps through time. The sympathy crane. Actually, hang on, let me check. Do I have... Wait, really? Only Azure and Jade? Really? We don't have a... We don't have a pink version of it. <sighs> Do I have the Mogul Hatchling at least for something? I don't even have the Mogul Hatchling. I was, I, I, I was gonna do a don't talk to me or my son or my son's son ever again type of deal. We're just decreasing shrinking ones. Uh, but well, we do what we can. When you are truly tested, will you be able to tell the difference between strength and power? I mean, <laughs> the trial commences. Did, is there a party there? Is someone just swinging at nothing? Duck in there and see if there's actually people. Believe in your strength. I mean, there seems to be people fighting him. Fuck it, we'll end we'll end the stream with a zoo and fight. Why not? I don't fucking... Tranquilizing shot. Don't attack me, I'm squishy, I'm a hunter, I'm not a tank. Please stop confusing me with a tank just because I'm meleeing. I'm, a sub I'm playing survival hunter to get a feel for it because like, it's like probably the most maligned spec in the Go! Oh, fuck yeah! What do we actually get? We got a spool of eternal third, we got crimson scale helm. Crimson. Ah, uh, that's a really good helmet. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Alright, where's our uh, zoopity zappity delete my enemy? Where is I zippity zappity delete my enemy? Um, Thundering orb, thank you. There it is. I'll gladly take, even though I'm immediately going to transmog off it because helmets look kind of dorky sometimes. 
I'm just gonna skadoodle off anyway. Um, am I really Golden Lantern? Before I go, let's at least try to freaking slap together something approximating a decent fit for this Velf. Well, this Velf. But like all, uh, like all true role players, I just just do the Velf as a high elf because. Oh, what appearance is that? That is. I don't think I have that appearance on that normally. Alright, controversial take. They never should have taken away the friggin... I never got the Yulon one back in the day. They never should have taken away the, um... Let's go pirate. They never should have taken away the Legendary Cloak quest. Very nice. I only got Zoo and I did not have any other, um... I didn't have any other characters ready for it. I probably could have got the... Did Casters have a different one, or was it just, um... Actually, I find those makes a good look there. <clears throat> uh, I probably could have got it on my lock, but I was a bit behind on him, and I didn't want to really bother. Yeah, so I could have got Yulon. Uh, actually, you know what? The Sorok Stalkers don't look too bad on that. What do we got for a belt? Let's get a belt to tie the whole thing together. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and um, Tank would be Nuzal. That makes sense. Actually, you know what? We're going to actually just check... Good spears do we have? In fact, hang on, I can just get Talon Claw actually, can't I? I don't think I ever got Talon Claw's hidden appearance because who in this day and age actually plays some? Um... Oh, actually, you know what? The Jade Arcus could be fun. I got this from a friggin' trading post months ago and I have heard literally no reason for it. Um. Actually, but the character does use red, so let's... Do I have any good red claw arms? Uh, Talon Claw? Yes, Talon Claw! Talon Claw's a red polo. I don't have any of the fancier ones. I really should work on those at some point, but, uh... Why not? Um, I, what actually are the other ones, actually? Uh, Lujardis. Doesn't show me the hidden appearances. I would have to run off to another character who has access to Legion. But, you know what? This is a good enough fit for the moment. It's mostly mop era, except the pole arm. But I think I can be forgiven for that. I can always just go, um... What's it called again? I don't know. That's the Boris Horror in the Night. It's, I can go this... One spear that's like floaty. Hang on, where is it? I use it a lot on my. I use it on my monk when I roleplay here. Ghost heart. That's it. I could go ghost heart as well, but I really need the other color of ghost heart. Oh, I have the other color of ghost heart. Um, Rittler's Rat Render. When the hell did I get that? Well, if I really wanted to go Mop Era, I could do that, but... Look, Mop Eva, a survival hunter, was banging and wasn't melee only. If you remember, you remember, but Mop Era Warlock, on the other hand, that was the good shit. Oh, well, that is about it for me today. We should be skadoodling, we should be skedaddling. Let's just go see if there's anyone kicking around.
Uh, green fire for days. I, you know, I kept my I kept red fire on my warlock because I decided his color scheme. He's a black blood elf warlock, so I'm just like, nah, his color scheme's just gonna be red. And then um, then Legion happened, and I basically got perfect sets for him because I also decided I. Well, you might notice at the moment there's currently a drop enabled on the channel for you to get um the eye of Kilrog pet um. Eye of the Legion. Um. I have had Eye of the Legion ever since that card expansion came out. I actually fucking bought the TCG and owned that one. It's one of the few I do actually have. That and the Pufferfish that they included in... Yep, just this, this Pufferfish as well from, um... From Kata. Why the pufferfish was a TCG reward, I can't fucking tell ya. But it was. In terms of ones I've gotten after the fact though, um... I had... I don't normally use Amazon Prime, but I had to. Oh, you lucky son of a... <laughs> I kind of had to... I don't normally do Amazon Prime, but I kind of had to for this one when they had it as a Prime reward because I have... The one stupid point of um, pride I have in this game... They... They added a Strider... A Tall Strider with this model as a tameable pet, the first one in the game. And I was the first person to find it and post it on Alakazam. And that tells you how far ago we're talking. The fact I'm having to talk about Alakazam rather than like Wowhead tells you how old it is. But I was the first person in the game to find and tame the Strider Clutch Mother. And this is on my aforementioned Zandalari Troll Hunter from back in the day. Good old Thoughtbot. That is clearly a bot, someone who I have no matching servers with, who's asking me how I'm doing. That is clearly a bot. Um, in terms of people who are cooking, it is good I did pause for a bit, as it looks like Bowie the Hero, who is a shining force runner, uh, is currently running some Final Fantasy Adventure. So let's go and pay all uh, Bowie a visit. Let's go and... Uh Say hello to him and wish him the best of luck with this. This is Final Fantasy Adventure, which is actually a Secret of Mana game, if I remember correctly, that they, um, that they changed the name on. <laughs> it's a Secret of Mana game that they changed the name on, if I remember correctly, and they released it out here as a Final Fantasy game. But Bowie's good people. Let's pay him a visit. Let's, uh... It's just one of those weird ones where, yeah, they just have a lot of games. They just did up like that. But we'll pay him a visit. And I will see all of you. I will see those of you I see next time. Next time. Till then.